Hey guys, Justin back for another pack a day video. Today is October. Oh man, I don't know. I think today is the 12th and it's my 73rd day. I should probably start looking at that before I get into these videos. So yesterday I put out a Tops 2023 update release video and review of hobby boxes. And um, I've got another one for you today. So it's going to be a it's going to be, there's going to be a lot of card sticks. So we got our silver pack with this new hobby box that I'm getting into. We're adding an update series to the daily rip. Um, and then we've also got our regular series one, series two, chrome and cosmic chrome. Those are the products that I happen to enjoy. And so I'm opening a little bit every day. Um, in the future, I don't know if pack a day is going to be um, a good word because, you know, I'm doing more than one pack a day. Maybe it should be a daily rip. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. But let's go ahead and get right into the series one. Still looking for a Jake Cronenworth and a Pavin Smith out of Series 1 to complete my collection. Um, along with, you know, inserts, parallels, other things. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Let's let's see if we can complete this set eventually. This pack is out of a Series 1 blaster box. So, kicking things off, we got a Zach Thompson rookie. Chris Bryant for the Rockies. Tanner Rainey. There's a Bobby Wood Jr. Gold Cup. Here's a Taylor Rogers. Kyle Stowers rookie card. Nice centered here. Let's double check this. Here's a Taylor Ward. Kyle Gibson. We have a backwards card. This is going to be a Rainbow Foil Brian Bayo rookie card. Not bad. Here's a Byron Buxton. Stars of the MLB. I think I have this one already. Byron Buxton made an appearance last night in the Twins' loss to the Astros, but couldn't get it done. Uh, Flight out to first base, I believe. Here's a George Kirby. Garrett Cole, Ethan Small, rookie, and a Christian Pash. Rounding out the Series 1 pack. <clears throat> Didn't pick up Pavin Smith or Jake Cronenworth, unfortunately. Let's talk baseball real quick. Um, mentioned the Astros game, but uh, eh, we'll go ahead and talk about that first. That was a pretty exciting game, honestly, if if you like pitching, at least. Uh, Houston wins 3-2. to two. Abreu and Brantley score all three of the runs with two homers, um, one each. And uh, honestly, it was a relief pitching duel. Um, you know, the I think the starting pitcher for Houston went five, but um, they basically shut out. I mean, all every both teams were shut out for the last three innings. No runs scored in the end. Um, not not in the seventh, eighth, or ninth. And um, you know, Minnesota's just didn't have an offense last night, and that was the game essentially. Houston moves on to the ALCS. It's going to be an all Texas ALCS. It's going to be uh, the Texas Rangers at Houston, and that game will be on uh, Sunday. I'm not sure what time yet, though. Anyways, <clears throat> let's get into this series two-pack. Here's a Kodai Senga rookie card, Aaron Savali, Dylan Carlson. I've completed this set already, so we're just looking for hits. Um, I guess I don't need to say everybody's name. Lindor, Ryan, here's a Hensley. What do we got here? We got something backwards. Carson Kelly, DJ LeMahieu. We got a gold a gold Randy Arena. Not too bad there. And that's going to be it for the pack for the most part. Just a Levon Soto and Darnod finishing out the Series 2. Um, let's see here. Who else last night? Atlanta and Philadelphia. Atlanta got smoked. Man, Bryce Harper with two home runs, two for five, four RBIs. Trey Turner goes two for four with the homer. Nick Castellanos. My boy goes two for four with two homers. Aaron Nola pitched a great game. 5.2 innings pitch, two earned runs, nine strikeouts. I think he started the game with six strikeouts, maybe. Um, I believe that was a um, a record or something. Could be wrong on that. But yeah, Atlanta's offense can't get it done in Philly. They are losing the series one to two. They're going to be in Atlanta. Or no, they're going to be in Philadelphia tonight. If Philadelphia wins, Atlanta's done. If Atlanta wins, they'll be back in Atlanta for Game 5 on Saturday. So that will be exciting. Um, if you didn't see my video yesterday, I've already opened a whole hobby box of Update Series, which is what I just got into this pack right here. Um, so I'm actually pr pretty far along on the checklist in terms of building the collection. But um, we're going we're gonna to keep looking for cards here. I've got a whole bunch of Update. I know a lot of people weren't interested in this. And honestly, I understand why. I'll just say this, don't buy hobby boxes, unless you really like relics, uh, manufactured patches and such, um, you know, go ahead, but I've watched, I mean, I opened my own box, I know it's only one, so that's obviously a very small um, pool to look from, but I, I've opened one, it wasn't terribly impressive, I've watched a lot of it being opened from um, other YouTubers, 
over the past 24 hours. And um, yeah, I'll just say skip the hobby boxes. They're not worth it. Number one, they reduce the card or the packs by four. There's only 20 packs in a hobby box. And they reduce the number of cards from 14 to 12. So that's like 240 cards compared to 336. If you buy a whole case, you're getting a thousand less cards than you did before for the same price. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Shrinkflation. Shame on you, Tops. Very disappointed. If I would have realized that, I wouldn't have bought it. But hey, that's on me. Um, so, hey, don't be like me. Be smarter than me. Don't buy the 2023 update series hobby boxes, or just don't buy it at all. Honestly, I mean, there's, I'm, I'm, I'm in it because I'm looking for Matt McLean personally uh, as a Reds fan. But um, yeah, the Jumbo boxes look okay. But honestly, I watched some Blaster boxes, and if I could do it again, I would just buy Blaster boxes to be honest. But anyways, let's get into it here. Cooper Hummel. Daddy is sword. I'm going to have most of these already. I did get, I ended up getting like 200 of the 330 uh, checklist out of that first hobby box. There's a Jordan Walker rookie debut. Mark I, Melanson, I guess that's how you say his name. Joey Ortiz, Zach McKinstry, Nelson Velasquez, rookie card. What do we got here? This is a, whoa, that is my first home field advantage. Poor timing, honestly. <laughs> Not the great greatest timing. Uh, Carlos Carrera didn't actually have a great game last night, but he had a great postseason overall. Um, really happy to see this. I've never pulled a home field advantage before. That's pretty cool. Let's get a closer look at it here. These aren't numbered or anything as far as I know. I don't know what the um, chances to pull these are, but this is my first one. And um, it's a good player. Not a rookie, but um, yeah, Carlos Carrera, he's, he's a superstar as far as I'm concerned. So that is pretty cool. And um, then around the pack, we got a rookie debut for Francisco Alvarez. What is this? A uh, rookie combo, Marlins. We've got uh, Zach Elfin and another. No, this is a veteran combo here for the Padres. Okay, that's it for the update pack. But we are going to go ahead and get into the update silver pack. Yesterday, out of my silver pack, I did not get anything super spectacular. A couple rookies, but, um, you know, not the biggest names. No, no numbered cards, no autos. Come on, pack. Wow. Let's see what we can find today. Looks like we don't have any backwards cards. So we got a Matt Chapman for the Blue Jays. There's an Andrew McCutcheon for the Pirates. There's a Shintaro Fujinami rookie card and a Corbin. Hey, Corbin Carroll. That's not bad. We'll take that. Corbin Carroll's pretty decent. We'll go ahead and throw this guy on the stand too. Why not? I do not have a Corbin Carroll um, Silver Pack Mojo card yet, as far as I know. And then, um, like normal, we've got our Chrome. Did I talk about the Diamondbacks LA game yet? I don't think I did. Let's get into that. So, um, LA just got absolutely destroyed by Arizona's offense this whole entire series. And um, that continued last night. Now, in the first two games, Arizona jumped them in the first inning. I think they won the first two games with like a margin of like 12 or 15 or something crazy. Last night, they waited until the third inning, and then they set a postseason record with four home runs in the third inning. Marte, Walker, Moreno, Perdomo. I think Perdomo was actually the first time. I think it was Perdomo, Marte, Wal uh, Walker, then Moreno. But they all hit solar home runs. Um, I think it was Moreno um, who fouled off a home run. It went into review. They said, no, it's a foul ball. And then the very next pitch, he hit an, he hit an actual home run. That was amazing. It was an amazing thing to watch. It was crazy. The Dodgers can't get it done. Their offense was not looking great. Their pitching looked even worse. I mean, I don't know what happened to the LA pitchers, but they just didn't have it. Here's something to know. I'm not I'm not saying these guys suck or anything like that. I'm just saying they didn't show up. Betts, Freeman, Martinez all went 0 for 4 last night. Betts had an awful postseason. I heard some people saying he never has a good postseason. So, I don't know, man. I mean, you were probably number two in the running for MVP, but... Uh, yeah, it's kind of a shame. It would have been cool to see Betts have a, a great postseason, but honestly, I was rooting for Arizona anyway. So Arizona gets the sweep in LA. They'll be waiting for whoever wins Atlanta and um, Philly. So, yep, congrats to Arizona. Both of the teams that I've been rooting for to go to the World Series won. Arizona swept, um, and so did the Rangers. Did the Rangers sweep? Yep, both teams swept. Pretty crazy. All right, here's the Chrome Pack. We got a George Kirby on the Future Stars. And then we have a, hey, is this a negative? Marcus Stroman negative? Nice. That's my second negative. 
I actually don't remember who my first one was. This one's not a rookie, unfortunately, but hey, the negatives look super cool. Not a bad day, honestly. And we got a Max Freed and an Aaron Judge rounding out the Chrome Pack. Pretty happy with this negative. I know there's a lot of Stro Show fans up in Chicago. Pretty cool. I wish I could remember who my first one was. And then, last but not least, we've got our Cosmic Chrome Pack. And honestly, we're due for a hit, man. We've got to be getting hits out of this soon. I've only got one numbered card out of this entire hobby box. And we are down to the last few packs. So, we've got Bryson Stock kicking things off. Oscar Colas rookie card. There's a Star Clusters for Arizona, Thomas Carroll Moreno. I've, these are some of my favorite players right now. They're super good. No hit today, though. Starling Marte. I swear I have like four of these cards already. Come on, man. Come on, Tops. Why do I have so many duplicates? So nothing, again, out of the 2023 Chrome, Cosmic Chrome Homic Box. How many packs do we have left in here? We have just four packs left, and this has been... Uh, it's not been a great box, but you know what? Oh, man, this video really dragged on, so um, this one probably won't be on TikTok today. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Today was October 11th, no, 12th, and it was my 73rd day of opening packs of cards. I'll see you tomorrow.